Welcome to Miss Dunn's science safety video. Today we're going to learn about several things. But the first thing we're going to learn about are scales and using balances and scales in a science project. The scales in this picture show you all the different things you might see in a science lab at your school. There might be a balance scale, digital scales, or any of these scales you'll see in this picture. Notice in this balance scale how there's two different containers and it's balanced on a needle in the middle. These types of scales are used to put things in each side and you can measure which one is heavier or lighter. There are several things to consider to make sure you are doing safely in a lab when using a scale. Are you ready to take notes? The first thing is make sure that nothing is obstructing the scales. Do not set the digital scales on top of anything. They need to be flat on your lab counter. And the balancing scales need to be free to move back and forth without anything in its way. Next, you need to make sure the scale is clean. Make sure there's nothing inside or on the scales or the scale bucket that will change the data in any way. Another thing you want to make sure you do is to place the items that will be weighed carefully into the scale. If you drop something heavy onto a scale, it will change the data. It might go down a lot quicker and you'll have to wait for it to balance out. And lastly, as you can see these girls doing in this picture here, you'll want to wait before you record or remove things from the scale to make sure that it's totally finished balancing out before you record your measurements or your findings. And don't take it off the scale until you've made sure it's stopped moving and you've recorded its data. So, that wasn't too hard to remember. What did you learn today? Check over these four tips to make sure you have them in your notes and you're ready for our next lab. The last part of our science safety videos is going to be rubber gloves, like the one in this picture. We might be using these rubber gloves in our science lab if ever there is something we don't want to contaminate with our germs, or if ever there is something that we don't want on directly on our skin. First, you want to make sure that you don't have any allergies to the type of material that the gloves are made out of. Most gloves are made of latex, and there are some people allergic to latex. Next, you need to make sure you're putting on clean, new gloves that haven't been used before that aren't too tight and aren't too big. You don't want them to be so tight that you might rip a hole and get whatever you want off your skin into the hole in the glove. And you don't want to make sure it's too, so big that things could seep into the opening of the glove. The next very important thing to remember when wearing rubber gloves in a science experiment or in a lab is how to take them off. It's very important that you watch me and watch these pictures when we learn how to take off latex gloves and we'll have to dispose of them properly. So, that wasn't too hard to remember. What did you learn today? Check over these four tips to make sure you have them in your notes and you're ready for our next lab.